Oh, I got stuck. Got stuck, guys. <laughs> That's because you said my name wrong. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody, to A Hit Gaming. Well, the show in Seattle for the last time about art, weed, and video games. <laughs> Ooh, we. Uh, this is a very special episode. It's the final episode we're shooting in this particular house. I'm Nick Sahoya, your host, and I'm moving to San Francisco where we will shoot the show for our final episode. We really wanted to have. A big send-off, so I brought two of my favorite queens who have not yet been on the show. Please give it up for Butalino Kipple and Harlot Oscara! <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi, thanks for having us. Yes. Please, thank you for coming on. Pleasure to be here. And since it is the final Seattle episode, we do have the bubbly. You know, we cracked it. Uh, cheers. It's even provided a nice aluminum straw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, many lips, many famous lips have been around that straw. Oh, they my. don't have drag HPV now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I smelled something. I think whatever you guys have is strong enough to sort of counteract the previous <laughs> strains oh, honey. that probably yeah. exist yeah. on the straw. We've got regular, regular recommends for that. <laughs> yeah. And since we're dating, we just pass things back and forth, and it's like a laboratory where, you know... You know, little bugs can like get yeah, stronger. Totally. You know, it's for our own. Like you heard about system. super syphilis, we've got super drag diseases. Yeah. Diseases. Like, um, does does it happen when you're like sharing a venue with someone? Everyone kind of gets the same sickness at the same time because it's going around. Mm-hmm. Especially if you have to travel out of town with somebody. Mm-hmm. I feel. Like, yeah, but like, sitting like on a bus, bus right next both. to them. Oh my gosh! The yeah, the bolt bus is definitely the worst. Like the bolt cough. The bolt cough. <laughs> <laughs> The the deadly bong. disease sweeping yeah. the northwest. <laughs> Go ahead and take a, a bong hit of this. Uh, you oh, thank queens, you. I don't know if you know this by looking at them, but these two queens are very into smoking marijuana. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> I love your green lips. Did you plan ahead for that? I you normally did. have a green lip. Yeah. I did. That's actually not glitter, though. It's my drag HPV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's, it, it's having a flare up. Having a flare up. It sparkles. You know. And you have you have some fun socks as well. You want to show? The foot fetishist at home. <laughs> Shoe cam. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna knock some shit over. Ooh. 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 Just a nice sensible pump that you can go to the store in. Love Even if they're not gonna be on stage, you should wear <laughs> some good stilts. Hey. Tell that to half of my drag queen guests. Okay. <laughs> not even me. <laughs> oh, son of a that was weird. Did you do good? Did you do a bad I job? Did, I did a bad job. Okay. I gotta do it again. Well, that's okay. Oh, look. <laughs> did it get stuck in there? She leaves a mark. No. I'm gonna try the jinx where I like... Yeah, do it around. Yeah, that's maybe, the, maybe that's the... That's the monsoon family way. <laughs> that does actually seem to get a better pull off it, though. <laughs> yes, evil dragon. Yeah, I came right out. You did like... you just circular breathe? I did. I'm a trumpet player. You're a great exhaler. Thank you. I can't do that. <laughs> You're very good at blowing. Also good at swallowing. That's true. <laughs> when the time comes. Speaking of swallowing, you two are fucking each other and <laughs> cohabitating in sin. What's it like having a drag queen as a partner when you are a drag queen? It's great. Simultaneously, <laughs> simultaneously. edifying and frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has its challenges, but you know. At the end of the day, like you're my you're my biggest fan, right? Like, oh, oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> you're my biggest athletic supporter. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. You know, everyone needs support. A good cupping especially, every once in a while. Especially if they have low hangers. <laughs> so in addition to being drag queens and stoners, you are also kind of gamers yourselves. We were talking a little bit about your game and history beforehand. You said you just got a PS4? I just got a PS4 what you a while ago. It? I've been playing Overwatch. Love it. I just picked up Bloodborne, which is super spoopy, and I'm really enjoying I it. I haven't played that, but um, I would love to. And what else? Picked up Far Cry 4, but I don't like how much they made me shoot animals. Like, yeah, that's sad. I used to love Big Buck Hunter as a child, and then I grew up into a drag queen and realized that shooting <laughs> digital animals isn't cute. It's not fair yeah. to the digital animals. I'm playing uh, the new Tomb Raider right now, and there's a lot of hunting in that game. But I feel a little less bad about it, because a lot of those animals are really trying hard to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, And it's like, when you're playing Red Dead Redemption, you have to hunt so that you can eat or survive. Yeah. PETA does not like that. They always get mad when they put hunting in games. I think there should be, like, harvesting or, like, pea patches in video games. Like, for I'm actually going to take the holistic <laughs> approach and plant two for the one that I've taken. I'm hunting quinoa in the wild, you know. Be <laughs> very, very quiet. She's hunting quinoa. 
<laughs> I would say like my uh, gaming experience. I, I describe it like being a vegetarian. You know, it's just like if you're dating a vegetarian, you kind of become vegetarian. Yeah. You know, so it's like I'm not necessarily a gamer, but I'm not not a gamer. I'm dating <laughs> one. You um, so you're absorbing a little bit through osmosis through my anus. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what uh, what games have stuck out to you? Like as you've um, just kind of been. A passive gamer. Well, the very first game, uh, well, one of the very first games that I ever finished was not that long ago, uh, Journey. Oh, the J- oh this so many wonderful reviews. So beautiful. Still haven't played it. It's I gotta so get around beautiful, to it. beautiful, you know, and I love that it's like kind of not linear and, mm-hmm. you know, there's no like text. You just kind of have to figure it out and feel your way through it. I, I think so, I love um, games that... Uh, just don't feel the need to give you a tutorial. That's always nice. It yeah. makes it a little more cinematic. Mm-hmm. And it also gives you enough time to like kind of explore your way through it and make mistakes and do whatever, you know. And it gave you enough time to get connected to the characters enough to cry, which was the best part. I'm like, now you know what it was like when Eris was got funny. stabbed by Sephiroth. <laughs> it shook a whole generation right there. <laughs> and I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm sure you probably had a save file of right before that event happened so you could go back and be a masochist and cry over and over and over again. I feel a little called out, but <laughs> I've never played a Final Fantasy game. That's real. I just know about them. Well, I did play them. a Tactics. I played a Final Fantasy Tactics on GBA. So that's See, like okay, similar. but you played the Tactics, so you don't... I get necessarily... that there's Moogles. Yeah. I get that there's Chocobos. <laughs> and they go <laughs> quack, that quack, quack. That guy with the hat and you can't see his face. You know, you know who I'm talking about. I'm really into chocobo play. You know, <laughs> just gotta have a safe word. Ooh, if yeah, if you're a furry, I wonder. I wonder if there's a community of furries who are like into <laughs> fantasy animals. <laughs> oh like if your furry is a centaur or your furry is a chocobo, I think that's. Wait, can we just take that one step further? Because if they're into furries and they're into fantasy games, could they be a cactar, which is the little cactus man from Final Fantasy? That would be so cute. <laughs> Not furry so much as spiky, but you know that's, that's my mythological identification as a cactar. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Today we're playing a, a spoopy game because we got two spoopy queens. It's called Limbo. And, uh, you know, Harla, I think just because you just took the most recent, <laughs> the most recent bong rip, you should be the person to start off this game. Am I um, just like, ooh. It's got a handle. Maybe pull it. Is there a pull button? There is. I, just I know we were just ah, complimenting yes. games without yeah. a tutorial, but I could really use cool. a tutorial. <laughs> now, however, <laughs> I do love a roguelike game, like the Dark Souls games. Mm. Um, also, what was it? Risk of Rain. I haven't played those. The roguelikes I have played are like Binding of Isaac. Have you played that one? Ooh, the name always made me uncomfortable. See, it the, religious. the... Yeah, well, there's a lot of religious themes in it, but it's kind of like an indictment of like... Uh, Calling Religious out. abuse. Oh, yeah. that's actually a reason. It's interesting. I can relate. Um, and I didn't play it for years because it has like a really gross art style with all this like poop and stuff. And I was like, kind I don't want to play this poop doo-doo. game. In kind of Super Meat Boy style. I think it's the same developer. Okay, yeah. that's why I didn't play it because I knew Super Meat Boy was fucking hard as shit. It's easier than that. And it does have that nice like repeatable roguelike element to it. I think you would like it if you're into like spooky games well, and it's all demons and and worms and maggots also so. social Ooh. change through video games like i'm down with that let's make <laughs> us let's make us think about our lives and the lives that our parents made us live through while we play our video games you can do this oh Look at you, little jumper. Did it. i can platform butylene mm. um do you want to take the reins for a little bit oh sure let me get her up this thing and then i'll yeah, we like. Let's get you on safe ground first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, see, not you sure. oh, but he didn't go splat. No. He did go oh, splat. Oh, he did. He died. Oh, no. Now the death animations we'll in this game it. are really scary and intense. Well, and like, I love that you could just see the life wither out of his eyes. So, Beudling, go pull that boat. Oh, right. Which one's the grand? <laughs> uh, it's the that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Beudling, have you ever been on a boat? Uh, I've been on a couple boats, yeah. And, uh, what was and, your most oh, recent boat experience? Um, crabbing? Crabbing? When I got really crabby? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Did you really go crabbing? So every summer, uh, Harlot's family, well, uh, their dad likes to go crabbing every summer. Um, and uh, their big sibling, who's uh, the most wonderful uh, butch bull dagger you'll ever be. Hi, Aaron. Uh, hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. We love you. Um, 
was smart. Or, well, she's smart every year and uh, gets a crabbing license, you know. Ooh. And we got to go uh, crabbing with Dad and Big Sib. Oh, oh, what oh, happened? Oh, oh, bear trap, and it took your head bear off. Trap. Bear trap. You'll lose trap your head. this bear. I didn't know junk rat was in this game. <laughs> okay, so that is you junk. gotta you gotta jump over it. Oh, oh there's three. three in a oh, you row. can grab it and pull it towards you, so you can jump mm. over. All right. Okay. So you gotta pull. Yeah. Um, speaking of junk rat, uh, you were telling me before the shoot started that in Overwatch you've been kind of maining with Sombra. I've been playing a lot of Sombra. Son of a- I started playing with her because I'm like, ooh, she's got nails. <laughs> also, <laughs> she's a hacker, <laughs> and Hacker was my favorite movie from the 90s. Oh my I'm god, I'm trying so to get good. Jinx to watch Hackers, and she won't do it. What? Wait, it's an amazing movie, and it's the queerest movie from the 90s, I think. Also, of, Angelina Jolie with the short hair being, like, hot. Androgynous really and hot. hot as fuck. I'm, Mess I, with the best, die like the rest. I am still to this day in love with Freak. That is kind of like my dream man. It's like a hacker <laughs> with long hair. <laughs> Whoa, that's Whoa, that's, that's pretty scary. That's, that's like Mortal Kombat, actually. You remember when they fall down right? the spikes? Mm-hmm. Flawless babality. Um, so you ladies were telling me a little bit about your podcast that's coming up? Yeah. yeah. You've well, been working on it for a while, right? Yeah, we've been working on it for well, the podcast. Uh, not as long, but uh, we've been doing uh, Dungeons and Drag Queens mm-hmm. with our uh, Dungeon Master Matt Baum uh, and our Dungeon Daddy uh, James James Morris. James Morris. Uh, yeah, we did a whole Kickstarter to do to work on a podcast uh, called Queens of Adventure, which is basically the same thing, awesome. but with a new trademark. So, what's the format? You're playing Dungeons and Dragons together? Or? Yeah, yeah live. it's uh, four drag queens uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons Cute. on a microphone. Love it. Yeah, there's four different characters. I'm the uh, the alchemist <laughs> and uh, a pathological liar as well, which is really fun. Uh, especially as a stoner, because I don't have to remember my backstory. I just make it up every time. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So I, I am like in it. the process of moving, and, uh, you know, five-ish gay men have lived in this house over the years. <clears throat> and I'm finding weird shit. I found something that I think is poppers, but I don't do poppers, so I don't know for sure. Does it say and, like, you know, just head cleaner on it? It doesn't say that. It says... <laughs> A bunch of <laughs> shit, but it's the shape and color of a popper's bottle. And I'm like, did someone leave this in my bathroom? Mm, there's only one way to find out. It's probably just like some essential oil, but I'm curious. You haven't smelled it yet? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> right. Does it smell like poppers? Oh my God. Does it smell like poppers? Let's figure it out. Go grab your bottle of poppers. Here, Let's wait. see if it I smells like poppers. Oh, I know. I don't get I know. it. I, I've been watching it and I'm like ready. I know exactly how to handle this. <laughs> Why? I've said that before. There's so many intricacies. There is. Ready, set, bricks. Uh, yes. Oh my goodness. You better work. Uh, no. Mm. No. I didn't realize that the laws of quantum boulder mechanics states that <laughs> boulders stick to logs once they've swung to try well, and kill you. I think it has spikes on it and anything with spikes like sticks into oh, it. Yeah. See, that's actually attention has to detail, logic, and I yeah. can appreciate that. Yeah. This is Lord <laughs> of the Flies moment happening. Yeah, the, there's the island of Lost Boys. Oh, I think. Speaking like of Lost Seattle. Boys, kind of like our Lost Queen show we did. The Lost Queen. What, were, what yes. was the Lost Queen show? I didn't get it. It was uh, a parody of the Lost Boys. Oh! Yeah. I was Rainbow thinking, um, I was thinking, uh, Peter Pan Lost Boys, but oh, we're talking yeah. vampire 80s oh, Corys. That yeah. Corys, multiples. all the Corys. I got to be Michael, you know, so I got to be like, what's happening to my body? <laughs> <laughs> I was hard. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> yeah, that was written by uh, yeah, Rainbow Gorke. Oh, Rainbow Gorke. We yeah. Met. She's- Lovely. Delightful. She's got to come down to San Francisco. 15 year old drag queen. Oh my goodness. With this taping. As soon as she's legal. Hey, ladies. uh, Do you know what time it is? No. It's time for the quick time event. Ah! I thought you were going to say the Eiffel Tower. I was like, (laughs) you dirty little thing. High five. (laughs) 
Huh, your butt in the air. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, question one. Which of these collectible card games is based on the Witcher franchise? A, Hearthstone, B, Gwent, C, Eternal. Gwent. Uh, B. B? I'm gonna say B is correct! Yay! Question two. Which of these games was released on the Sega Master System? A, Alex Kidd and Miracle World. <laughs> B, Sonic and Knuckles. C, Shenmue. Uh, I'm gonna say Sonic? C. Sonic? C. I'm gonna say C. C? Shenmue. Oh. What? Shenmue? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Question three. Which year was the original Xbox release? Released? A, 1999, B, 2001. Uh, 2001, I worked at GameStop when that was released. 2001? Yep. 2001. A Space Odyssey, you're correct. <laughs> Question four. You, baby. Kingdom Hearts combines Disney characters with heroes from which long-running RPG franchise? A, Shin Megami Tensei, B, Final Fantasy, C, Pokemon. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Yes, of course. Yay. Question five. The Sega Game Gear used how many AA, <laughs> how many AA batteries? A, oh. four, B, six, C, eight. How many AA batteries in that game gear? Uh, it was a lot, I think. It was, it was like six? Do we have a final answer? Uh, 47. Six is correct! Yes. <laughs> Question six. Which of these games does not take place on an island? A, Dead Island 2, B, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, C, Tomb Raider, the 2013 one. Ooh, I'm gonna say Link's Awakening. Mm hmm? The oh. final answer? It, it was the wind fish. Does not take place on an island, is the question. Which one doesn't take place on an island? <laughs> damn it, now I'm getting extra B ducks. is your- B, I, I say B. No, I'm sorry, it was A. Oh, Dead Island damn it. in California. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, question seven. Which of these games allows you to create a character? A, Sea of Thieves, Thieves. B, Resident Evil 4. C, Batman Arkham Asylum. Which one does not? I'm gonna does. say does. Uh, sea of Thieves? That is correct! Question eight, final question. Of all the questions to be asked in Seattle, which of these consoles is considered part of the third generation of consoles? A, Atari 2600, B, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, C, the PS4. Third generation. Third, I would say third gen is PS4. That's No, I'm sorry. It's the Super Nintendo. Really? Because the 2600 is the first one, and then it's the Genesis. And the... I guess it's just because we started calling them gens. They should be referred to as Jennifers, not just gens. <laughs> and that's it. That's... <laughs> <laughs> we uh, made it and that's it that's all, all the questions that will ever be asked in all of the Seattle <laughs> quick type events I will not throw your Wii nunchuck because that would be bad for them. that's well please don't because then they're gonna make us use your wrist, on the wrist straps, straps children use protection <laughs> that's what they're there for condom, otherwise you get co co <laughs> covered in glitter put a flesh jack on your win yeah. Wii oh, nunchuck and or the silk of a large Disgusting spider. Uh, you don't have to shoot anymore. Okay. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're done with the shooting. I always part. liked shooting the dog. No, Aww. why? He's so nice. I love it. I'm, I'm like, rude. we're done <laughs> filming now. I'm contrary to my state. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, uh, I want to sincerely thank you for being my final guest here in Seattle. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, why don't we tell the people at home where they can find you in person, where they can find you on the internet, social media, all that stuff? Uh, you can find me at the Cha Cha Lounge every first Wednesday for heels, along with uh, my co hostess Betty Wetter. Um, you can find me at Cremework on the third Mondays of every month uh, for our show, Family Meal. We co host it, it's an industry night. Yeah, industry night, cheap drinks, uh, very uh, wide variety of talent. We have like uh, classical musicians Fun. and burlesquers and dancers and love it. And drag queens. Yeah. And then the podcast? The podcast, Queens of Adventure. Love yeah. it. And um, social media, do you like Instagram? Do you like Facebook? Do you like Twitter? What's the one you use? I really like Instagram and Facebook. Harlot Oscara. Harlot spelled like Charlotte with no C. And I'm Butylino Kipple. The, usually the first thing that pops up if you go <laughs> B-U-T-Y. There's, yeah, there's not too many Butylines. <laughs> yeah. At least on this coast. Yeah, I feel like you gotta exactly. go a little further out to find another Butyline. I know a lot of Antarcticans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being on the show, ladies. Um, can we all have, like, a hug? <laughs> yes! Yay, Eiffel Tower. Hello. Mm. High five. All right. <laughs> Wave bye to the people. Bye. Bye, people. Bye. 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 Bye.
I'm gonna start packing up. <laughs> <laughs> start keeping some shit off the wall. <laughs>